Stars of the new movie Star Trek Into Darkness boldly went where they've never gone before, a Google Plus hangout with real-life astronauts. The actors asked flight engineer Chris Cassidy from the ISS what switches his phasers from stun to kill when it comes to Hollywood. Engage. Is there a part of you that says, like, oh, they're, they're just getting it so wrong? Like, it, what, what is the thing that kind of annoys you the most? The thing that does grab my attention is the, uh, the everybody's always walking around and walking, th walking onto the bridge of the, of the ship or things like that. And, uh, and it's probably hard, hard to make that in a movie where, where uh, technically, how would you make everybody float? So uh, I understand. But uh, it'd be far more fun if you could, because trust me, it's a pretty cool thing to just be able to like do this anytime you want. And what about real tech versus Star Trek? That's a neat question. I think uh, that's one of the real fun things about these movies and science fiction in general is just that um, opportunity to imagine what the future could be like and what technology is going to be like. And we're really kind of living in that uh, experience right now. I'm a physician by training, so I'm really looking forward to a medical tricorder. It would be great to just kind of mm -hmm. wave a wand over somebody and, uh, and have the, the tricorder telling me what's going on. Star Trek Into Darkness is in theaters now. So what kind of Star Trek tech would you like to see? Beam up your tweets to me at TWC Matt Sampson.